Okay, let's continue with linear. So I'm trying to make things a little bit different than Algebra 2 because we don't want to just repeat things we've done before. Um, we kind of want to refresh while kind of maybe learning new things at the same time. So now I have kind of weird information. I have a point um, is 4, negative 3, and then oddly I know the other point, but I'm missing the y value. And then I know the slope. So let's try to figure out what y value would make this slope true. So since I know slope, why don't we use the slope formula? And then what we're going to do is we're just going to solve for y2 rather than solving for slope. So we can use formulas in different forms. So let's go ahead and plug in. So the slope is negative 3 halves. My y2 is unknown, so I'll just call it y. My y1 would be negative 3, so minus negative 3. My x2 would be negative 3. And my y x1 would be 4. Right? The main thing is make sure your x1 and y1 go together. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So let's see where this takes us. So negative 3 halves. We get y plus 3, and then we get negative 7 on the bottom. And so I can times by negative 7 to get rid of this, get rid of the denominator. So then we get 21 over 2 equals y plus 3. And I'll just subtract 3. Minus 3, minus 3. Oh, sorry about that. So y equals 21 over 2 minus 3. And again, we'll keep, we've been doing LCD a little bit. It would just be 2 because 3 doesn't have a denominator. So 21 over 2 minus 6 over 2, which would be 15. So y is 15 halves. And that's it. It just has to find y, not an equation. And again, use Desmos and plot these if you want. If you want to check it out, find a line. If you want. Uh, so another topic we may or may not have seen is this thing called the difference quotient. Um, right now it's a little meaningless, but it's just to practice um, kind of um, inputting new functions and it's going to be really, really useful in calculus. So right now I know it has no meaning. Um, it's more just pre-calc is often practicing the algebra we need for calculus and not everything has a purpose yet. But as we get into calculus, we'll understand why we're doing this. But we just kind of want to master the algebra so that we can be really good at calculus. That's what pre-calc is all about. So what we're going to do is we're going to oddly plug in x plus h. So I'm going to take the function. I'll come back to the whole thing in a second. We're just going to look at this piece. Um, I'm going to replace x with x plus h. That's what that first piece is asking me to do. So we get 4x plus 4h plus 1. So let's find this thing called the difference quotient. It's f of x plus h. When you see that what we get, maybe we'll see what it's solving for. So we're going to take what we just found, 4x plus 4h plus 1 for my f of x plus h. We're going to go ahead and subtract f of x. So I'm going to put parentheses because I'm subtracting the whole function. So we're going to have to make sure we distribute that negative, which is why I put parentheses. And then all over h. Um, h has no meaning yet. So again, we're practicing algebra that will be really important for calculus so that calculus isn't so scary. So 4x plus 4h plus 1 minus 4x. And then we get, oops, this was a minus 1 minus 1, right? Oops, I screwed up the function earlier. And so then I'll, we'll get minus 1 from the first one, and then this turns into a plus 1, distributing the negative all over h. And then some nice things will happen. So let's see. 4x and minus 4x go away. Uh, minus 1 and 1 go away. So I just get 4h over h, and then the h's cancel out, and we get 4. Um, does anybody notice what number this matches? It's the same as the slope. 
So this difference quotient, even though we don't know what it is, is doing some weird thing with slope. Um, but it's going to allow us to find slopes of like nonlinears in the future, which we're not doing now. But just to kind of peek at what's to come. Um, but that will be significant. So hopefully um, this will help us get some good practice. You're going to have to plug in x plus h a lot in the future. But it's just those like composite functions. x plus a is h is my inner function. Um, so that's all we're going to do with linear for now. Um, we'll, we'll see linear as we do other things. And so I'll see you back for quadratics.